Okay, now I'm going to show you how to uh, clean a little carpet like this um, using the extraction equipment and the extraction pro, uh, the carpet power brush and the pre-spray solution. Um, first of all, we just need to quickly vacuum clean as I showed you before. I'll just do that now. <laughs> Next we need um, some pre-spray solution, uh, mixes are 4 to 1 and 8 to 1. So for this particular carpet we'll just do an 8 to 1 mix because the, the carpet's not very dirty anyway and it's only a demonstration. So in the pre-spray we used before we've got a 4 to 1 mix in here. So we'll put 4 to 1 in there. That should do us for the time being, I would think. A 4 to 1 a multi pro, multi pro pre spray solution. Um, 4 parts water, 1 part multi pro. And just tighten your spray it up and then give it a pump. And then with the sprayer we work in small sections at a time, probably about 4 feet wide by 4 feet in length. And um, don't do uh, much more than that or much less really. Try and stay with the 4x4 rule. And what we do is, we obviously test the carpet first, but I'll show you how to test carpets in another video. Um, but this is simply a pre-spray solution going on now. And then we use carpet pile brush to agitate the pre-spray into the carpet. And then we use the extraction machine to rinse out. So I'll show you the sequence now. First of all, pre spray. When you when you use the pre spray, press your trigger and come across your carpet and then stop. When you come to the end of where you want to go, the four foot square area, release the trigger spray. And then come back over the area again, half, overlap in half, and then stop with your, with your trigger. So it's stop. 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 And that's piece braid now. That's well, that's well done. Now next we use a copper power brush, which is just a simple brush, a special brush really, copper power brush. I mean, there's only certain types of these brushes that you can get and all of them are made for particular carpet cleaning so I would not advise you to go out and buy an ordinary brush and try to clean your carpets with an ordinary brush I think a carpet power brush is built for the job so you know do try to make sure that you do get a carpet power brush and then what we do is we just brush agitate And what that does is it loosens all the soils in the carpet. It actually, the, the pre-spray solution dissolves the soils. It attracts the soils to it. So when you rinse extract, all that soil in the carpet now is all loose debris. So it will extract really easily with a good rinse. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, what we do when we're cleaning the carpet, we always remove stains before we use this. So it's best to tackle all the stains then pre-spray, brush agitate, and then use this machine as a last, as a last uh, Don't, don't um, just keep stopping and starting removing carpet stains because it makes the job more awkward. So remember, get your carpet stains out first. So I'll show you how to rinse extract.
Why do you lift this? It's to, with the machine, it's to lower and higher, like I think you saw me doing. When I pushed the machine forward, I lowered the machine. And then as I brought it back towards myself, I raised, raised the handle and brought it back this way. And then lower and push forward. And when you push forward, you don't have your trigger spray pressed. Only have your trigger spray pressed. Trigger spray pressed when you are actually bringing the machine back towards yourself. Then release the trigger and lower the machine down and push forward. And then raise it, press the trigger and bring it back towards yourself. Overlap, overlap each time by one quarter of the machine. So you overlap, overlap, overlap. And the reason why we lower and higher is, is, is because on this, on these machines, you'll see two edges. And if we were to just use the machine so that we were simply just doing this with it, then there would be no airflow through the tool into the machine. We have to create the airflow. And how we do that is when we bring the machine back towards ourselves, we have it lifted high like this. And the air rushes in through the back end of the edge and right up into the machine. The machine sucks the water through into itself. And when we lower the machine, the air rushes in through the front and, and seeps up the water right into the machine. Otherwise, doing this with the two flat edges on the carpet, there would be no airflow, so the, air, the water would stay in the carpet rather than in the machine. And that's what we don't want. So it's a very simple procedure. And if you just do four foot squared areas at a time, you won't exhaust yourself. Always remember to get all your spots and your stains out first before you use the extraction machine. Obviously you can use the machine with your hand tool for removing stains. Um, but when you're doing a full blown carpet cleaning job, try to have all your stains out first and then, and then do a complete carpet clean without stopping and starting. And these, these sprayers, this is actually a ProCam product. This one's quite expensive, um, about 50, 60 pounds. But you can actually get these. I mean, you can get these from B&Q for £18. You can also get small 3 litre ones, which I would suggest that you do get a 3 litre one. These are both 6 litres. A 3 litre one is ideal for what you want. And you can pick them up now in, in supermarkets and the likes of any garden centre or anything like that. B&Q, Wilco's, you can get them for probably about eight or nine pounds so well worth investing in one if you can get one um, anything else i need to show you i think that just about covers how to clean a carpet um, yeah always remember that inside here there's a there's a bridge a small bridge always make sure that's clear just get like i use what i always use is a fork with some tape around the end and use the handle part of the fork just to clear this to make sure that there's nothing in there preventing the airflow really make sure it's nice and clear and um, apart from that i think i've covered everything really which you need to know about cleaning the carpet with the machine and um, like i say there was actually um a five liter mix of um of extraction pro which was just 50 milliliters of extraction pro which is 50 milliliters is just about near enough down the bottom it's a very small measure to five liters of water so you hardly use any of these solutions at all for cleaning the carpet so if you decided to buy five liters of extraction pro and clean your rooms in your house five rooms twice a year you probably have enough solution to last you over a decade you know it's really cheap to do um, and it is the ProCam solutions are really really good so I would advise to use ProCam um, I think that's about it for me for, for the carpet clean and I'll speak to you in another video. Thank you.